the night before the opener. I got here yesterday about 5.30. I didn't have a lot of time to go scout. I had a little time and I found a bunch of deer, but nothing big. Um, set up camp last night. This morning I got up and just kind of was going to drive the road and kind of figure the area out. I haven't spent a lot of time in this area. Well, I haven't spent any time in this area besides last night. So I just was going to drive the roads and kind of hike out on some points and glass. And I saw a ton of deer this morning. Um, found one buck that, pretty decent buck. He's it's not huge, but he's not bad. I went and shot my gun, made shirts on. It was a little off, so I had to shoot it four or five times. I'm glad I did or else I would have missed. I kind of just driving around during the day looking for some places to glass at night. And I found this place, which is awesome. So what I've seen is... There's this lake, Navajo Dam Lake. And there's this little finger that goes about 10 miles off of it. That's where I'm camped at. And all the deer feed down to that lake at night to water. So I'm sitting up here overlooking the lake and probably have seen, I don't know, 40 or 50 deer tonight. A um, bunch of little bucks and does and fawns, nothing big. But if I stay here till dark, I think I'm gonna find the big ones. So tomorrow's, tomorrow's the day, let's see what happens. kill that buck I found yesterday morning. I knew right where he was going to be. I knew exactly where I needed to be. He wasn't there. I was there at 6.30, an hour before light. Had the camera set up, ready to go. Couldn't find him. I had 200 other guys with tags out here too, so you gotta, you gotta expect that people are going to be hunting where you are, but so I've just been following the lake all the way down, hiked about two miles from my truck. I've seen a ton of deer, probably, I don't know, 60, 70 deer this morning. Bunch of little bugs, bunch of does, bunch of fawns, which is good. It means they had a good fawn crop. It um, seems like all the does have, have uh, twins, and some of them, like this, this set has triplets. I'm gonna just keep skirting this, this lake hopefully find one down bedded. It seems like all the deer are concentrated right on the side of this lake, so we'll see what happens. Gotta enjoy a snack though. My Golden Valley Natural. Gives you a little bit of protein when you need a boost. It's easy to pack. That's what I like. Okay, let's go kill the deer, okay? It's time. camp, New Mexico. It's basically, we're halfway through the hunt. So, it's a five day hunt. This is the third day. Morning's over. And, uh, it's the first time I've seen my camp um, during the light since before the hunt. So, the last three days I've been leaving about, oh, what, about quarter to six every morning, getting back about 8.30. And it's been tough, like, I've been seeing a ton of deer. Um, I saw probably 30, 40 deer today. A bunch of little bucks, a little forked horn, two points, and little three points, and little four points. But I just cannot find that one mature buck I'm looking to kill. So I decided today I was gonna come back, fix me a good lunch, get some energy in me, because I've just been eating jerky and, and um, snacks, basically, for the last couple days. So I thought I'd come back and cook some elk steaks. Make an elk steak sandwich. Got a roll here. It's as good as it gets out here. So, two and a half days left. I just gotta stay focused. That's the problem with hunting, man. It's so easy to get frustrated and get lackadaisical. But uh, I think if I feel like if I just keep doing what I've been doing, um, hiking out on these big, these big points and just glassing for miles, because that's what I'm good at. I'm not good at 
hiking and walking. A lot of guys will just walk all day and they'll bump a big buck and shoot it. I'm not good at that. I've never been able to, to bump a big buck out of his bed and shoot him. I've always had to glass him from a long ways, put a stock on him. So I feel like if I keep doing that, I'm going to I'm gonna find a big buck um, and uh, be able to go and, and uh, kill him hopefully. So we'll see what happens. I don't know. I'm excited about these elk steaks. I know that. I just killed a buck, finally. I'm speechless. Oh, I don't know what to say. I have put so much freaking effort into this hunt. I have been gone from camp, from sunrise to sunset every day, hiking, glassing. Let's go get him. Can't believe it, man. Like I was saying right after I shot it. I have worked so hard and I have been so frustrated. I've seen so many deer. I see a hundred deer a day, a beast. But they're all does and fawns and just little, you know, two year old, one year old, one year old little bucks. Man, five days of that. And finally last night I said, I give up. I'm done. I can't find any big deer. There are no big deer on this mountain. Well, man, that's when you give up, that's when you fail because, you know, a lot of people like to give life lessons and about life and and um, and I, I don't I don't know like maybe this is why I'm into hunting so much is because when I learn something really important that, that will help me with my life it's usually out on the mountain and it, it might sound really cliche and really silly but man persistence it all comes down to persistence when you give up is when you fail I hunted hard and hunted hard and I knew if I just kept pushing it and pushing it eventually it will happen so it did I could not be happier. I cannot be more humbled right now. It's been an awesome experience. Six days by myself in a tent. This is a once in a lifetime deer for sure. Man, awesome, awesome buck. Thanks, man. Awesome deer. Some people would bitch and complain about this part, but this is this is your uh, this is your glory glory lap. Is that what they call it? This is this is uh, your victory lap, not your glory lap. But this is what you work for, man. This is what I train for. This is why I love being out here. Is because it's a challenge, man. You never know what's gonna happen. Like I said, man. Persistence, persistence paid off. And now. I wish I would have been more persistent on my workout regimen. But I've got you know, it's like just a stair stepper for about 200 feet. Alright, let's get this done. <laughs> 